Hello and welcome to today's Contemporary Piano Soundbite. This series features brand new piano pieces specially written under lockdown for us by some of our leading composers and we're inviting donations for Help Musicians UK, the Coronavirus Hardship Fund, helping professional musicians who are badly affected by the current crisis. And we've already raised well over a thousand pounds from these contemporary sound bites. And I'm really thrilled and delighted. So thank you all for your wonderful generosity. And if you haven't donated and would like to, do go to our Just Giving page. Contemporary Piano Sound Bites will find it. Today's composer is Jenny Pinnock, and I've been delighted to get to know Jenny's music. It's been described as refreshing, imaginative, and tantalisingly beautiful in smoothness and soul. Quirky time signatures, soaring melodies, and moments of quiet stillness can all be found within her music, which has been performed all over the world. Jenny Pinnock studied at Kingston University and Trinity Laban Conservatoire of Music and Dance. And taking a look at her website, you can see that she's been involved with a fascinating range of projects, very imaginative, very creative and hugely varied. I was most impressed and intrigued. In 2017, Jenny and the writer Graham Palmer were funded by the Arts Council and PRS Foundation to create Cracked Voices a one hour long 12 song song cycle based on forgotten characters from the borderlands of Hertfordshire and Cambridgeshire. I was most intrigued by that, would love to hear it. The piece that Jenny has come up with for our project is fascinating. It takes some aspects of the current situation we're living through and she turns her creative mind to it to wonderful effect and produces a piece that's very beautiful on its own terms, but takes very clever account of some of the things going on at the moment. I'll read in, in, in her own words what she said to me in her email when she sent me the piece last week. Here's my piece, she said, Musical Distancing. I hope you like it. Well, the title was a clear reference there. And this is what she says. Musical distancing was written as a response to social distancing. Seeing cues and people maintaining distance between each other makes you think, makes you begin to think about the repercussions if everything had to survive like that. What about musical notes? Throughout this piece, notes maintain a minimum distance for perfect fourth apart, whether they're consecutive notes or chords. So a perfect fourth is this that distance. So you won't hear anything closer than that. You won't hear no next door notes or anything like that. They're the closest it gets, whether, whether we hear it played together or whether they're consecutive notes in those part of the progression. As well as notational distancing, the piece follows the narrative of those going through social distancing at the moment. This is where Jenny's wonderful imagination comes in. Moments of uncertainty and anxiety interspersed with tentative discovery of the beauty of the outside world, quiet walks and peaceful moments. There are moments of panic when encountering several other people at crossroads and the inevitable dance-like shuffle that occurs while all attempt to adhere to social distancing rules. Well, I haven't been outside for six weeks, so I've missed the worst of that so far. But uh, I think this pictures it, uh, this, this captures it beautifully. But at the same time, Jenny's created a beautiful piece that works as a piece of music on any level. So the world premiere, given from lockdown, of a piece written in lockdown, about lockdown, or about social distancing, by the composer Jenny Pinnock. Musical distancing.
Musical Distancing by Jenny Pinnock. So, keep on social distancing, take care, stay well, and I'll see you soon for another contemporary piano soundbite. Bye-bye. <laughs>